Uh, this is the part we already made, kind of. I still need to color the stitching on the sleeves, but I'm gonna do it all together with the top once I'm done, or even the bottom too, I think. I'm gonna just paint all the stitches at the same time. But yeah, so we did this uh, undershirt, and today we're gonna be working on the overshirt. Um, I have cut out the pattern pieces, now I just have to figure out how they fit together. No, I will be using acrylic uh, paints because they're white, but they have to be like the stitches. I made the stitches with the puff paint, right? Because I didn't feel like hand stitching everything. There's a lot of stitching on this thing. So I got this white puff paint. It's actually pretty good. And I made stitches with it and I'm going to keep making stitches with it um, on all the embroidery. And then I'm gonna just have to use acrylic paints and color it into a more like leathery, um, darker color. Today we're going to do the overshirt, the part that, <laughs> that part that she's wearing over that brown shirt. Um, so ideally, if we can finish it tonight, I'll have basically top of the costume except for the beads and whatnot. We're gonna be making it out of this fun uh, fake suede fabric which I think kind of matches what she's got going on there. This is the back piece um, and this short has a little bit unconventional construction to it. Short side back. So it has besides the back piece it has the back slash side pieces so it kind of goes like this. And then it also has the same thing for the front. Um, it also has the, yeah, here, here's the same thing for the front. Malanki underscore Muller donated $5. Emily, you should know that I was noticed by like 20 other senpais while you were filling out paperwork. I <laughs> beg for your forgiveness and your noticing. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> thank you, Miller, and thank you for the pacha check. Yeah, so this is the front with the front sides, and then that's the back with the back sides. Uh, front. Back. And then the interesting thing about this shirt is that it has that little sleeve flap. Like if I were to, where's my mouse? If I were to zoom in, there's like a little sleeve flap that, um, I guess you can't really tell, but it's there. Yeah, I think this goes like that. And then this goes like that. That's about right. So we're gonna saw these together, which will make this little flap, and then it gets attached to the shirt. Does that make sense to you? So we have to put the flaps together. Then we have to put um, the top of the shirt together. Oh, congrats! Then we're gonna put the flaps on. Then we're gonna put the sides on. Then we're gonna stitch the whole thing shot and then we're gonna have the general over shirt however after i'm done with it i'm gonna have to also do a lot of the embroidery with my puff paint because all of the stitches kind of have this like little crisscross pattern across across them and then the flaps themselves have the whole um where is it where are the flap patterns like this is only half of it but they have this you know little circular situation and then I also have a fur piece but the fur piece is not going to be sewn on yes this was the over shirt uh so the fur piece is not going to be sewn on just because it's there's no way my machine can handle that i'm just gonna clip it on with some safety pins we shall begin by as i said putting together the flaps assuming my machine can't even do it i am not 100 percent sure it can but i hope it does so So please, machine, if you would be so kind as to just make this happen, I will really appreciate that. Okay, like butter. Smooth like butter. Look at that straight stitch. 
All right, we have we have a, a single shoulder flap. The best part about this is that if the edges are rough or the stitches are not very straight or anything's wrong, it's like, well, what do you expect? This is a this is a post-apocalyptic situation. This was made out of what they had. They did not have sewing machines. <laughs> they have charging machines and friggin' fire spitting machines, but not sewing machines for some reason. And so, here we have... <laughs> here we have the overshirt. Done. <laughs> JK, there's still uh, plenty of work to do with it. Is it gonna even fit my boobs? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, it's a nice little new uh, suede bib. Last, you know, last fashion. Okay, so now we have to put the little, um, little uh, shoulder flaps on before we continue on with the sides of the shirt, you see. Because they get attached at this stitch. Okay, we're gonna go kind of slow with this one because I'm trying to get it nice and straight. Oh, look! We got a little, we got a little shoulder flap! We got a little shoulder flap! <laughs> That's so cute! Alright. So, now that we have the flaps, I'm gonna keep them like so, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the back first, actually. Just uh, for the sake of practice and making sure this is correct. Yeah, I think this is correct. And we're going to put the back side part of the shirt on. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how am I supposed to do that, but. Yes, does not really quite align, but I uh, suppose we're gonna have to figure it out. Kind of did it. I'm gonna have to give it a little trim again because it didn't 100% align, but it's okay. Again, rough edges are the style, it's the stylistic choice. Cutter is a little I'm having a little difficulty dealing with it as well. Okay, so so this is a uh, one side of it. See, it's kind of looking cute though. No, there's still plenty more work to do um, before it's done. But we're gonna keep on trudging through, or whatever the word is. It's a little bit confusing just because of the way this shirt is constructed, because um, it has that shoulder flap, which functionally I don't think really makes any sense. But um, I don't know. I guess it defends your shoulder, since this is technically armor, right? I guess this baby little shoulder flap is supposed to protect your shoulder from the nasty machines. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the front. This is the front piece. I don't know why she has that little cut in here, but she does. I mean, I guess it's necessary to get your head in there, otherwise it's pretty small. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do the same thing on the front now where we will align the front side piece. Something like that. Keep adding girth to this, and I'm mildly concerned because if this breaks in the middle of stitching, it's gonna be very sad. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch, I cursed it. Yep, mm hmm. That's it. Stream's over. 
snapped the needle snapped Ugh! i don't know if you can see but uh i'm holding a piece of it in my hand <gasps> i do have one more ah! i don't know how to replace it though <laughs> okay now i just have to figure out how to replace the snapped needle i think i have to undo this yes i'm correct and then i have to <laughs> look See? The tip snapped off. All right, we're going to we're going to watch a YouTube video uh, because I don't want to put it in incorrectly and make the last the very last needle snap. Uh, that is the way it needs to go. I usually put my point down first and then lift it all the way up and you have to make sure you get it as high as it will go. So if I needed to, see how it went up a little bit higher when I made sure it went there? Loosen this enough so you can get it to, to go all the way high. Now here's a little trick on knowing if you okay. actually got it to the highest point is to use your needle threader and check. If the needle threader is a needle up threader? With needle, then you know you have it high enough. If for any reason I don't you have know, a needle threader. What are you talking about, you actually, woman? Okay, this is good. Alright, do you think we're gonna make this this time around? I think it's uh I think it's gonna I think this needle is gonna last. God, I can't even like get this under the foot, it's so thick. Pretty please, the gods of sewing. Be kind and let me just finish this goddamn shirt. Okay, one more piece to put on and then we can put the whole thing together. <laughs> it looks very uh, confusing in this very moment, but uh, shortly you will see that it makes sense. Enough. Okay, so now <laughs> now this is a whole complicated be bib. <laughs> so where is what now? I don't think it's gonna fit over my boobs, guys. Alright, okay, hang on. So we're gonna close one side and then we're gonna try it on again. And pray to the gods it fits, because I don't wanna redo this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it most definitely is not going to. Oh, actually, maybe it will. I mean, it might fit, I just might not be able to put it on or take it off. Actually, it kind of. I mean, I do have a shirt under it already. I might be able to fit. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh! <laughs> right? First world problems. Praise be, it fits. <laughs> kind of. Boom. Check it out. Anybody ordered one armor? So, tis the shirt. Shall we put the two shirts together? So, now we're just missing some fake stitching over here and along here and some embroidery on the flaps and then um, obviously the beads. <sighs> Obviously all the beads she's wearing kind of help the picture. But uh yeah, this is uh this is where we at. Oh, hang on. If we break it down to one piece at a time, it's not 
that impossible anymore. Whoa. Don't go anywhere. Fur. <laughs> yeah, hey, wait a minute. <coughs> it sheds pretty bad. But, uh, here's the fur. Right? Pretty cool. <laughs> These are just leggings. I figured, uh, of all the parts of the costume I have to make, I'll uh, allow myself to just buy generic leggings. Um, I'm just going to keep it pinned for now. If I'm going to sew it on, I'm going to have to do it by hand, because my machine most certainly cannot handle that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to pin it. I might put a Velcro piece on or something. But yeah, so this is what we were looking like right now. So, this is gonna be for the panels of the skirt. And then, we got the blue and the red. And this blue, because there's multiple kinds of blue to go along the skirt panels. And I also have some cord to wrap. Because if you look at it carefully, here, I'll show you. If you look at it carefully, there's like an, a lighter blue edge and then like a darker blue inside. And then it has like red cord wrapped around. So now it is time for us to start detailing the stitches. I'm only going to do one side out of four of this shirt today because um, it has to dry for 24 hours before I can turn it over. Right now, specifically, I am putting puff paint to imitate the embroidery that she has on her sleeve flaps. Okay. Let me show you. Here's a, here's a, here's the a little uh, embroidery imitation on the flaps. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do a little semicircles. And now, while I have it on this side, I'm going to put the stitching she has across the bottom which is just straight stitches, kind of like what I have here. These are not very straight on purpose, by the way, because that's what they look like in the picture. Now we're just going to put stitches across the side over here. And there we have it. It is the first side out of the four I'm gonna have to do of the embroidery. Here, I'm gonna put this on top so it stays that way. There we go. Boom. <laughs> 